Hey GHS, I'm Ray. And I'm Katie. And, and this, this is Line, Line Direct. Direct. On November 11th, GHS hosted the annual Veterans Day program. Members of the band, choir, student council, and key club created this unique tribute to honor our community veterans. Also included were the elementary schools with the patriotic song tribute. We appreciate our veterans, especially our teachers, America's veterans. Time for a club update. Key Club members are asking all faculty, staff, and students to donate items for Meals on Wheels. Donation items include shampoo, soap, toothbrushes, toothpaste, hairbrushes, and sugar-free candy. Donations can be given to Ms. Bates in room 2013 before and after school or during lunch from November 30th until December 17th. Ms. Bates then will give students a ticket that shows that they have donated. The class with the most donations will earn a free jean day on December 18th, which is an early dismissal day. We are beginning to understand the, the concept of the PRIDE program. How did it get started? Here's the inside scoop. It, it took a total buy-in from the district and um, all school representatives, we had to form a committee, all schools were involved in uh, the development of the program and it was a pretty um, detailed uh, uh, program in terms of uh, putting it together. It, it took us basically about six months to do it. Um, and as I said, it's an ongoing thing. We don't have all the answers right now, but um, so we're changing it. It's evolving even as we speak. Um, but it did take some definite preparation and we had to put a committee together. I think our committee has 16 or 17 members, teachers and administrators. Um, I'm the chair, Ms. Coach Dillard and I are the chairman of the committee and then we have uh, 15 other committee members um, that we meet regularly to discuss you know the programs implementation and those type of things we do we've gone through lots of training uh, for for um, this program and we have to go to region 10 occasionally to get more training and um, and so it's an involved detailed process and it's it's not a process that you put in place and then you just stand back and let it watch you constantly move to improve it what can we do better we want and, and eventually we want to get more of the students input on you know what kind of things we can do better in terms of a reward system that the students would really enjoy explain the development of the pride program uh, the pride program was developed uh, from a group of teachers and we all came together and we were all from different backgrounds so there were english math are different kinds of teachers and uh, we got together and we're kind of told what we needed to do through region 10 and we implemented it through um, surveys where y'all felt unsafe and areas that we felt needed improvement in the school I have noticed a difference with the way that uh, students and teachers are acting with the pride program uh, it's interesting to see people being nice to each other and really uh, taking into account what is being said also people have funny remarks about the videos so I enjoy that uh, my outlook on the year is that it's gonna be positive that every year gets better and better um, and really it's up to ourselves to take responsibility in the way that we behave and so if you make every day your best day then how can you go wrong this program took a lot of preparation we had several meetings over the course of the summer and then um, things like the artwork that you see around school things like the tickets had to be designed um, and things like the videos uh, the videos were probably the most time-consuming of all the projects that I worked on but a lot of other teachers did things like lesson plans and uh, put together books and we had a lot that we had to present to region 10 um, what we were doing at our school Pride is P. Personal responsibility. R. Respect. I.
Wanna wear jeans on Friday and do a good deed? Here's Line Direct with more info. This Friday, November 20th, JHS students will be allowed to wear non-standardized dress code with the purchase of a dress code pass that will only cost $2. This money will go towards a fundraiser for Clothe the Child, a charitable organization which graciously provides clothing for needy children in the Greenville and Hunt County area. Not only is it cool that you get to wear normal clothes, but what makes it even better is the fact that you'll be doing it for a good cause that will definitely be appreciated. I need to go get my jean pass. Me too. I hope I don't forget. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Seniors, it's dodgeball time again. It's dodgeball time! <laughs> <laughs> Register for the dodgeball team by December 4th. Papers are in the office. The tournament is December 14th and all proceeds go to Project Graduation. This week began with the field trip. Meeting the governor is definitely going to be a highlight of my senior year. Governor Perry announced a million dollar robotics initiative on Monday. He invited the Robo Wranglers to be present for this unique partnership between the Texas workforce. Afterwards, he had a meet and greet with the students. You can find the link on lionledger.com. And from all of us at Lion Direct, have a safe and happy holiday week.